Let's go straight to business now. The Nigerian Exchange Limited lost 313 billion naira, dropping to 29.915 trillion naira in its market capitalization less than a month after reaching a market value of 30 trillion naira, a decrease of 1.04%. Uh, the All Share Index decline of 574.59 basis points to close at 54.915.61 percentage terms. In terms of exchanges, a total of 137,286,570 volume of shares worth 1.509 billion naira were traded in 3,489 deals on the exchange. The bearish trend has persisted in the equities market since Monday as investors continue to suffer losses. However, the recorded loss of 313 billion naira has been the biggest for the week. Joining me on News Central now is Aziz Lawal, MD, Trust Bank Assets Management Limited. Good to see you on a Monday morning, Aziz. Thanks for being here. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, let's go straight into it. The NGX closed a bearish on Friday as all share index declined uh, by 574.59 basis points to close at 54.915.61, uh, uh, while a market cap lost 313 billion naira to actually close at 29.915 trillion naira. Well, Looking at all the sums and the number, putting everything together, uh, just let us know what led to this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, so thank you for that question. Uh, largely last week, the market was very bearish, actually. Um, the only game we saw last week was on Friday. Uh, but generally, uh, week on week, we can see the market was, was bearish and it lost, uh, like, you rightly, like you rightly said. Uh, the major drivers of, of that loss uh, were majorly banks. Uh, we also saw Gary Group. So, oh, but what specifically drove that loss is the fact that we saw, it's like we've seen in the last two weeks, consistent and persistent uh, profit taking uh, by by uh, by market players. Uh, profit taking basically means you bought a stock at a lower price, and now the, the price has gone up. You sell to take your profit home. So that was what we saw last week, and largely driven by uh, profit taking in banks. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, Access Bank, uh, Zenit Bank, uh, UBA. We also saw Gary who also lost uh, significantly, including first bank as well. Yeah, thank you. Nigerian bonds exposed to the um, I mean, is Nigerian bonds exposed to the collapse of some banks in the U.S. and Europe? I mean, we did see what happened in the U.S. and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, 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 well, thank you for that question. Uh, I'm sure you're referring to uh, the uh, the case of the Sil Silicon Valley, Valley Bank and um, apparently. Uh, credit suits to is, is distressed. Yeah, for Nigeria to be affected, it would have been a case of okay, maybe we have a Nigerian bank that has a significant bank and do significant investment in those in those banks or is exposed to the kind of securities that they are exposed to. But that's not the case in Nigeria. So specifically, we don't have any bank uh, that is uh, that is exposed uh, to that to that to that to that collapse, uh, particularly for SVB. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aziz Awal, for talking to us. Always a pleasure to have you on a Monday morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.